Good day. My name is Peter. Welcome to the VAT Short and Sweet series where we explore the world of value-added taxes. The series consists of several short presentations that build upon each other. Today we're at presentation number 14 of 15 in our journey. See the presentation topics covered in this series for a full list of the presentations. The verbal script is not a verbatim of the written text. You can pause the video at any time to read the full text. Common themes. Number one, VAT laws tend to require a person who has ceased a business activity to inform the applicable VAT authority. Number two, in certain cases, once a business has ceased operation, the assets that would normally be taxable at the regular rate are considered to have been disposed. Furthermore, the person may be required to report and remit VAT on these business assets based on a prescribed amount. In essence, the person will self-assess. Number three, a similar situation may occur when an asset is used for a different purpose, even though the business has not ceased operations. This change of use situation may result in a requirement to report and remit VAT on the asset. Number four, if the person operates in a jurisdiction where credits have accumulated in their account with the applicable VAT authority, it is important to see if these credits can be claimed. Number five, special attention should be given to the deadlines and manner of notification, reporting and remitting prescribed by the applicable VAT law. We will use businesses run by Caesar and his family to demonstrate the topics themes and elements being presented in this presentation. Let's look at a fictional example using fictional VAT law. We have our scenarios, we have our common themes, and then we have the end result of our analysis. Just to recap on the common themes, number one, does the person have to notify the applicable VAT authority? Number two, does the person have to report and remit VAT on the assets that would normally be taxable at the regular rate? In scenario number one, Caesar closes his store in his home country. The business must notify the applicable VAT authority of its closure. Furthermore, VAT must be reported and remitted on the assets that would normally be taxable at the regular rate under the applicable VAT law. So in this case, common theme number one applies. Caesar has to notify the applicable VAT authority. And common theme number two applies. Caesar has to report and remit VAT on the assets that would normally be taxable at the regular rate. In scenario number two, Christopher's delivery service transfers his delivery vehicle to personal use. VAT must be reported and remitted on the vehicle since it would normally be taxable at the regular rate under the applicable VAT law. So in this case, common theme number one doesn't apply. He doesn't have to notify the applicable VAT authority. However, Christopher must report and remit VAT on the assets since uh, the vehicle would normally be taxable at the regular rate. So in conclusion, number one, the applicable VAT authority may have to be notified if a person ceases a business activity. Number two, upon ceasing an activity, certain assets of a business may be deemed to have been disposed. VAT may have to be reported and remitted regarding these assets. Number three, changing the use of an asset may lead to a deemed disposition. VAT may have to be reported and remitted regarding this asset. Number four, a review and claim for credits that may have accumulated within the applicable VAT authority is very important. And number five, respecting all the requirements prescribed by the applicable VAT law in your country is very important. Special attention should be given to the deadlines, manner of notification, reporting, and remitting prescribed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next presentation.